Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nigrum. Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred DLC. We are now in Geakul and we have to find the source of the disturbance. We met uh, Rahir, uh, who is a friend of Lorat, but something is happening outside Geakul. I have a feeling that somebody is attacking us. Okay, okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We, we are under attack. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, guys, uh, I almost forgot because, uh, yeah, we have now one ab ab uh, available point, uh, one skill point, but I. But. After recording the previous video, I uh, chose. Yeah, I chose two passives, if I'm not mistaken. Two passives, yes. And I wanted to show it to you guys because I didn't. Uh, uh, do it uh, on screen, I did it off screen, so it is focal point, gain a bonus based on the weapon type you wield, casting a focus skill doubles this bonus for 5 seconds, so basically it's it's uh, very good for every type of weapon you have on this character, on spirit bonus, so if you will uh, wield a glaive, you get 5% of bonus lucky hit chains, which is great, quarter staff, 3% block damage reduction, superb. Pole arm, which I have now, 10% lucky hit chance to make enemies vulnerable. And <laughs> I wanted to have it. And the second one, it's, it's here, it's like in this third tree. And the second one, because I uh, I got uh, previously two skill points, is Mirage, gain 20% increased dodge chance during a bait. And I'm doing a bait, obviously. Whenever you dodge, you gain 5% critical strike chance for 3 seconds. So it is great, and uh, the next rank is getting us to 40% of dodge chance and 10% for critical chance. I mean, critical chance, 10% of critical chance, it's pretty uh, great. So I... Uh, I might choose that, but I will gladly choose something new, like I would gladly choose a new skill, because now we have another point, and uh, this tree is available now, so let's see what do we have here, because I didn't get any of these skills, I would like to get more skills for now, and then after some time, when we get more points, I would like to um, make them stronger, but now I would like to get some specific Skills, armor at height, let's see, it's a passive, gain one resolve every five seconds, active, in case yourself becoming unstoppable and gaining 100% block chance for three seconds, great, Con constructive stomp, stomp in front of you, releasing a shockwave that deals seven damage and knocks down enemies for three seconds, counter attack, a passive gain 10% dodge chance and automatically retaliate against close enemies for 20 damage when you dodge their attacks. Okay, this is really cool. Dodge all direct attacks for 3 seconds per cast up to 6, six seconds. Up to 6 seconds. Scourge cover of a wave of insects that bite enemies, fearing and slowing them. Okay, we have something that slows the, uh, the enemies down. And previously I didn't see any of, any of skills we've got. Here by spirit burn, I mean, in this tree, uh, that will slow the enemies 50%. It's a lot for three seconds while applying 25 poisoning damage. I would like to get this because this is really great. Like, we can call a wave of insects. I wanted to do like lightning based spirit burn, but I am tempted to experiment. Okay, guys, this is full let's play. We are not doing like, like, I am obviously doing a build in this scenario, but. Let's experiment, let's learn it, why not? Let's see how, how this works and what it does, what it can do. Okay. 
Okay, I think I got everything. Mitra, hair outside, Gekul to curb the hollow threat. Wretched things. Or sludge and bone. Okay, we've got some questions first. What are these creatures? Where did they came come from? Hard to say for certain. Could have been Kazra at one point. Could have been people. The infection turns them all into... this. We call them hollows. First sightings were... a month ago. Not long after Neyra left. Now we're drowning in them. Yes? Where, where are my dialogue options? Where did they come from? Down south, over the river border to Nahantu. Perhaps you've heard of it. Some of the old Imperial maps have it as Dorajan. Only the desperate or foolish actually travel that way, though. The sands might starve you, but the jungle chokes. Yeah, I've heard of Nahantu. I'm trying to get in there. We don't. The infection started in Nahantu. We can only stymie the flow. Nahantu? That's where you said nayrel has gone. I need to go after her. I know. And I promise we'll find her, just as soon as Geakul is safe. Okay, let's first deal with the safety of Geakul. Okay, Rahir is now our companion. And like I said, destroy hollow defilements in Eastern Basin. I need more vigor. I need more time. They take everything. Flesh, gear, health. Even the grass isn't spared. Hey, I think everything is good. It uh, lagged a little bit at, uh, at one point, but I think it's uh, everything good. But it, it was in the game. Uh, it was in the game, so it lagged a little bit, but it was in the game. Okay, where do we have these things? Okay, here. So let's go. Let's destroy these things. Uh, we got similar things to destroy in the base game as well. So we got some... Okay, here's some hideaway. Okay. Some greater enemy. But yeah, we're gonna do the story. Okay, this swarm of insects, I, I tried it now and it was really great. It was really great. I love it. So yeah, it's... I don't know. Oh, the centipede Balazan, the centipede showed up for the moment. See, when I when I use this the this skill, Balazan showed up. This was really great. I'm not sure which spirit guardian I will choose. So I'm not I'm not uh, sure at this moment which I will choose. But yeah, we will see. For now, I'm now testing, just testing some abilities and trying to see which are need more time. which are great for my personality. They really, I really like, I really like this set of skills. Like, really, this is great. This set of skill, for now, which, which I use, is really great. I'm enjoying it, but I will experiment it for now. I'm low on vigor. I will experiment for now. I will be experimenting. Not ready. That's for sure. Yeah. 
So uh, for now we got like different skills because I want to show you guys also different skills. I want to use different skills for now. Like different types of skills. We've got some lightning, we've got some fire, we've got some 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 air. Air feathers. And also poisoning. And this is really great. We are having fun. But I must admit this fire ability which I'm using, this this I'm this one under the square, it's it's really great, okay? It's it's massive. It's dealing massive damage. Like look at this. And I do love the centipede going from the ground. But this fire ability is so fire, it's so great, I love it. I need more vigor. Need more time. Okay, one more to go. The rot is thick to the east. Let's clear it out, stop it spreading. Okay. Destroy profane hollow defilements in Hakan's oasis. Three of them. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, we are approaching. And also this eagle, it's it's just granting us some kind of teleportation a little bit. Let's see, because we've got some new glaives. New... Okay, this one is a little bit better. But yeah, the damage per hit, 25 to 28, uh, 29. But the attacks per second and the damage to allies and the dexterity is greater. Yeah, I might choose that. This armor is better. This one gives us maximum life, but this one grants us more dexterity. But let's see this one. Yeah, for now we're just using what what we can, what we will find. Okay, this one is is better, is greater. Okay, is better, is greater. Okay, we've got some new stuff. I'll be equipping it like now. Because this is obviously better. Now. Oh, this is looking great. This is this armor looks insane on this character. So cool. And we've got new gloves. Vigorous Strider hand wraps. Let's equip them. And new skill points. Let's finish this task. Let's finish this task task first. Not ready. Not ready. I'm 
Okay. Wait, I have new things. Yeah, look at this. Another gloves. And this is much more better. And we've got a new adroid pants. We've got new pants, much yeah, much more armor. 22 armor plus 1, 8 dexterity. But this one has empty sockets. I don't have, for, for now, I don't have any gems to put it in. But let's equip it. Ooh. This one is giving some fine vibes. This is great. Bloody pile. Not yeah. ready yet. I can't go through here. We have to go around. Let's see. Is it better? No, it's actually a little bit worse. Yeah, and it also had one socket. Okay, come here, come here. They keep coming. Only two gods? Where are the rest? They won't stop. Each kill brings two more. We're the only ones left. Calm yourself. We're going to finish this fight, and then drinks are on me. You hear? Defeat the uncorching hollows. Okay, let's do this. Can't reach it, can't reach the potion. Steady. Not ready yet. Up, abhorrent manifestation, it's a boss. Let's do this. This boss was just fine. This was fine. Fight. Damn things. Hold on, Godsman. Level 8. Let's see what we've got. Okay, this is pretty much the same. Only 3 maximum life. I prefer dexterity. Yeah. Better gloves. And a little bit better. Yeah, I think a little bit better. Yeah, glaive. Let, let's switch to this glaive. Let's see. Yeah, better. Okay, uh, what do we have here? We have three skill points, so let's choose something, something nice. So we have the Scourge, we have the Counter-Attack. Yeah, the Scourge is really great. Stomp. Uh, 
defensive skill, 10% block chance. After standing still for 0 0.5 seconds, you gain 3%. Okay. Increased poison resistance and your maximum poison resistance is increased by 3%. I think the poison resistance could be great because I think in Nahantu it's, it's a jungle, obviously. There will be a lot of different things trying to poison us. Healing is increased by 20%. Whenever you heal, your poisoning damage is increased. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Yeah, from this tree, the one... This, this court is really really great but let's see what we got in new tree and I think we can actually choose I was uh, I wasn't sure previously before starting the whole DLC I was not sure if we can actually uh, choose only one spirit guardian or we can choose different abilities like multiply abilities with different guardians but now I see that we can choose the second one like different abilities with different guardians we we don't have to choose only one guardian like i mean yeah here in this final tree it's like we choose one guardian but here are different skills we are not uh, we are not pushed by by one tree like by one type of skill okay razor wings we're out a cluster of razor sharp feathers that rebound back dealing 13 damage each way Smash enemies in front of you, dealing 34 damage. When attacked, you have 30% chance to reduce payback active cooldown. Flash a short distance room, an enemy. Okay. Infect them, dealing 1 damage and applying 83 poisoning damage over 9 seconds. Yeah, poisoning is great <laughs> in this game. I know what I'm saying, I played Rogue <laughs> for poisoning. Okay, th this feels great. Patch of death. This feels great. Okay, but I would like to see something different. Payback's active cooldown. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to choose now. Okay. Yeah, let's choose this. Let's choose this this one because I had uh, the centipede, the wings uh, of the of the eagle, the fire from the jaguar, the lightning from the eagle, and now let's do another skill. Let's choose the skill for gorilla, so the payback. Uh -oh. <laughs> Gone. We will remember. Things are worse than I thought. The Hollows are stronger and more numerous than we've ever seen. I promised I'd take you to Nerel, and I mean to keep that promise. But if the Hollows attack Geokul again, if a year... I understand. Go. See to your daughter. Thank you, my friend. We'll meet further down the road and find Nerel together. I swear it. Okay, this is great. But um... Rel was traveling by boat. The old bridge should have a good vantage of the river. Investigate the crumbled bridge. Yeah, this is the boat Nairel was using. It's so dark in here now. Previously when Nairel was traveling, oh... Even though you traffic with darkness, you have accomplished much good in the eyes of the cathedral. I can understand why Prava has tolerated you this long. But if the church is to survive, it must hold tight to its convictions. 
I think the rules apply to everyone, but they do not actually exist. That builds trust. The heretic Nairel has fled holy judgment. Wielding the very soul stone she stole from our brethren as they lay dying in hell. Where is the girl? I see no reason to help you find her knight. How many lives will you trade to protect Nerel? Is her life worth more than his? <sighs> No, uh, I thought that I thought for a second that we will fight Orivar, but I don't recognize this guy. I don't think he was uh, in a base game. It, he definitely was, but he wasn't mentioned there. Okay. I saw my course and from my mouth crawled hatred. A father burned his children on a pyre, and a mother molded a new age from the ashes. Okay. So I think this is our way to reach Nahantu. I saw the weak made strong, a pack of lambs feasting on wolves, tears of blood rained on a desert jewel, and the way to hell was torn asunder. He just pierced us through. Then came a spear of light, piercing hatred's heart, and he who was bound in chains was set free. Ratma's prophecy. Okay, so it was prophecy of Ratma. I loved Ratma. We are one of them, okay? Nahantu is a place, is a home of spirit-born people, okay? All spirit-borns. <laughs> so we are one of them. Yeah, we reached Nahantu, finally! In the second episode. This is great. I'm the man who saved your life. Or Eru, if you like. Eru. Thank you. But why? Why save me? You're spirit born. So am I. We look out for each other. What brought you to Nahantu? Yeah. I'm looking spirit for my born. friend. Hey, well, he's somewhere out there with a prisoner, a dangerous prisoner. I need to make sure she's all right. Hmm. Sounds like we should find her. Plot some riverbank. Trust into the dark. Tell Eru, are you ready to search for Nairel? Wow. What is this? What what did I got? Reach to Nahantu. Complete empty rising. Okay, what is this? What did I got? 
Wow, hatred's grasp of the moonrise. It's an armor, but wait. They are gloves. Damaging an, damaging an enemy with a basic skill grants you 4% attack speed for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Upon reaching maximum stacks, you enter a vampiric blood rage, gaining 80% basic skill damage by 15% movement speed for 10 seconds. <laughs> apply, apply, just, just equip, equip, apply, please. Okay, this is great! In the beginning of the DLC, we've got legendary item. Wow. Wow, wow, I'm speechless. It's so good with basic skills. Wow. What happened to me? My, my hands won't stop shaking. Don't know. You just washed up on the shore. As for the shaking, you've lost blood. The whole river was stained with it. I'm wondering now, um, guys, please tell me if you are playing, if you are playing this DLC and if you are playing with a different character, different build, like you are not playing Spiritborn, did you get completely a different dialogue with Arrow? Because he said, when, when I asked him why did you save me, he said, you are Spiritborn. So if you are playing a different character, I think you, you have gotten a different dialogue. If you did, please tell me, tell me in the comments and what was in this dialogue, okay? What did he say? To you if you are barbarian or sorcerer how did you save me dying not dead i just gave you the kick you needed frankly i'm surprised they worked at all not for sure i was too late i'm just i'm also really curious about uh, is he is he willing to save us when we are actually barbarian sorcerer or necromancer something different than Birdborn. This is Nahantu. Help is needed, so help is offered. Unless you are refusing. No, 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 no. Absolutely Good. not. Then let's search the river. Bound to be some sign of your friend. Yeah, let's do this. Someone up ahead. Burnt Knight, the third Burnt Knight ambush. Look at him, look at him, look at this knight. Commander Bertalemi in Inferno Blight. Her hair! came for help, okay? He not came ready. to help us, not for help. No, I can't... Oh, okay. Yeah, we have to throw something out because... Oh, look at this. We get rare pole arm. This is great. Let's choose it. And we got our first ring. Resistance to all elements. Poison resistant maximum life. Yeah. But I don't have... Yeah, backs are full. So let's throw this items. These gray items. Yeah, I I'll be selling this later. Yeah, let's 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 pack what we can. But I think I had something over here too. Yeah. Yeah, let's take what we can and then later I will Sell it. Okay, bags are full. I will sell it later. I only lost a limb, but you will run through and drown. How do you manage? He did lost his arm. They wouldn't oh. have without me. Arrow here patched me up. Perhaps he could help you too. Mm. 
No amount of healing will bring back my arm. But Ram might ease this thing. I'm afraid you will need far more than a drink to ease the pain of that wound. Hmm. You're right. Could use a place to sip on it in peace. Mm. Ah, I know a spot southeast of here. Okay. Let's see. Bring Kraher to the den. Okay, where is it? Here. So we are now here by this bridge, okay? Guys, I'll be ending this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. I um Yes, we have now two skill points. So I, I will check it out and... Yeah, as in the previous video. As in this video and as in the previous because I will do the same. I will check out these abilities and I will decide off screen what I will choose. And later I will show it to you guys, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye guys.